Let's talk about the Robinson R44 helicopter. Understanding the R44 engine and its associated systems is essential for safe and efficient operation. The R44 has two different engines, one for the Raven and one for the Raven 2. In the Raven 1, it's a model O540 F1B5. In the Raven 2, it's an IO540 AE1A5. The IO in front of the 540 actually stands for fuel injected. This engine is a six cylinder, horizontally posed, air cooled, naturally aspirated or carburetor in the Raven Raven 1 or fuel injected in the Raven 2 engine. Well known for its reliability and performance in various general aviation aircraft. It has 541.5 cubic inches of displacement. The Raven 1 produces approximately 225 horsepower derated to 205 horsepower for continuous operation. Whereas the Raven 2 produces approximately 245 horsepower derated to 205 for continuous operation with fuel injection for improved performance and efficiency. The maximum continuous power for both engines are typically operated around 205 horsepower for normal operations. Now let's talk about the fuel systems. Both the Raven 1 and the Raven 2 use 100 low lev avgas. The fuel injection system in the Raven 2 provides more precise fuel metering, improving performance, especially in varying altitudes and temperatures. The cooling system in the Raven 1 and the Raven 2 are both air cooled, relying on airflow over the engine to dissipate heat. This design reduces weight and complexity compared to liquid cooled engines, but requires careful monitoring, particularly in hot climates and during prolonged hovering. Now let's talk about the ignition system. The engine uses a dual magneto ignition system for redundancy and reliability. Each magneto operates independently, ensuring that the engine continues to run even if one magneto fails. Interestingly enough, there is 12 spark plugs, two per cylinders, to ignite the fuel air mixture in each cylinder. There is also an RPM governor. The R44 is equipped with an RPM governor that automatically adjusts the throttle to maintain a consistent rotor RPM, easing the pilot's workload, especially during takeoff and landing. This system is crucial for preventing overspeed or underspeeding the rotor system. The exhaust system channels hot gases away from the engine and helicopter structure, reducing the heat buildup and preventing damage to its components. The system is designed to minimize back pressure and ensure efficient engine operation. There's a couple of key operating considerations. Let's talk about the pre-flight checks. You gotta check the oil. Oil level must be checked before each flight to ensure proper lubrication of the engine components. The fuel system. Verify fuel levels, check for water contamination, and ensure the fuel injection system in the Raven 2 or the carburetor system in the Raven 1 is functioning properly. Also, during the run-up check, you'll perform what's called a magneto check. The magneto check during run-up ensures both magnetos are functioning correctly. A significant drop in RPM when switching to one magneto may indicate an issue. During engine start and warm-up, follow the manufacturer's recommended start procedures, including priming the engine for the Raven 1 or ensuring proper fuel flow for the Raven 2. Monitor oil pressure and temperature closely during startup and warm up. During warm up, allow the engine to reach the recommended operating temperatures before applying full power. This ensures proper oil circulation and reduces engine wear. After landing, if ambient temperature is above 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius, cool down at 60 to 70 RPM for at least one minute before reducing to idle. This prevents thermal shock to the engine components. After shutdown, perform a quick inspection of the engine compartment for any signs of leaks, unusual wear, or loose connections. Thus concludes the IO540. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more, I've got a free course to get you started with helicopters. Check out the link in the description.